everything you need to survive being drafted for war. A really good brow gel is essential because whatever eyebrows you wear into the battlefield, depending on what is left, the eyebrows that you are laid to rest in. A good waterproof mascara. In the event of a hostage situation, your only chance at survival might be seduction. So I'm even gonna chuck on some individuals just for good measure. A blush and bronzer palette is a super efficient way of packing different makeup looks for different war events. This one for a ceasefire, for a hostage situation, and this one for execution. Trench environments are really harsh on the skin, so make sure to take a good moisturizer. This one's Dipra Base. I used to campaign for equal rights between straight and LGBT people, but at the moment, I'm happy to let you guys just take this one. I need a skin tint because these photographs will live on forever. And also, some of us might be lucky enough to make it to Netflix documentaries and don't forget your SPF 50 because if this war goes nuclear you're going to need your sun protection. You want to pack a really strong razor. This is a five bladed one from Harry's and it doubles as a weapon. You can be bit back booing and someone comes in ah, attack 